Johnny Peacock, and I am now double Paralympic champion, which is awesome. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Uh, it's impossible to sum up, I guess. You know, it's something that you work towards for a long time and, you know, you think about the possibilities, but you don't let yourself think too much about these possibilities because there's a, there's a process that you have to do to get, to get you there. And, you know, you've got to stay focused and, yeah, it's, uh, to actually do it and to achieve it and to now say that I am double Paralympic champion is, it's amazing, you know, it's something that I wanted, you know, I could, well, I said after London, I could leave the sport happy, you know, now I can leave the sport even more happy. So, uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've achieved, I think, what I, what I wanted to achieve now, you know, I think everything else on top of this is going to be a bonus. Just sum up the last four years, an easier four years, a more difficult than the leading? Um, by, by, I mean, it, everything gives its own, its own issues and its own problems. I think, uh, you know, London, I was very new to the sport, you know, I kind of, that was my breakthrough year, which was 2012, and I was very wide-eyed, very naive, just kind of, just went with it really, you know, and I didn't really know what I was doing, so. This time, I was a bit more aware of what was going on, a bit more aware of the possibilities. Uh, the lineup was stacked, you know, the, the competition has really elevated since London, you know, new people have come through, you know, the guys who took silver and bronze last night weren't even in London, so, you know, it's really come on uh, leaps and bounds, so it was gonna be a very hard one to do, and, you know, the last four years, is, it's been interesting, you know, my times haven't quite been where I've wanted to, do, to be, but, Luckily, every single championships I've been at, I've managed to, to get the, the good medal that counts. So hopefully we can just keep this going for a few more years would be nice. You know, pressure or does it just spur you on even Yeah, more? definitely. I think uh, I wasn't actually feeling too much pressure before the race. The only pressure that I did feel last night was literally because everyone was getting gold medals. And I was like, I don't really want to let the side down here. You know, I got to this track and I saw Sophie uh, win, her, win her race. I was doing my blocks. I see Georgie getting her medal. Um, I'd heard about it, I hadn't managed to see it, um, and then I saw uh, Libby do her race just as I'm doing my last block, and uh, yeah, it was absolutely amazing, but for sure, when everyone wins gold medals, you don't want to be the one coming with the silver, you know, so you want to help make the team, and you know that Paul, our team coach, is going to be somewhere, you know, happy with all them, so I'm like, God, I want to make her just as happy, so uh, yeah, there's definitely a little bit more pressure, but you know, it's amazing to see four gold medals out of four events last night, you know, not bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, you prepare yourself for difference, you know, you're almost prepared to get booed, actually, I don't know, you don't know what's going to happen, you're thrown out here, but to be honest with you, the crowd, for the amount that they were really amazing, you know, they were so loud, um, you know, they're so supportive too, which was awesome to see, you know, obviously, beginning of the race, Jared got a huge cheer, which was like, okay, this is definitely different to London, um, but, you know, it, it, it was going to be different, you know, home games as a home games, you're going to have the support there, you know, we're far away from home now, you know, so it's going to be, it's going to be very different. But you know, it was, you know, it would have been nice to see obviously a bit more full. But uh, you know, it's amazing to see that for the amount that were there, they were being so loud. So yeah, I think uh, if they can just carry that on going now and keep selling more tickets, you know, keep filling that stadium more and more as days go on. And, um, and then I'll go to uh, go to Paris actually for a few days with my girlfriend. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, you know, I think we'll just be nice to kind of unwind before. Uh, before all the craziness starts again. And just finding something that you're, you're yeah. managed to find that. I haven't managed to get that yet. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of went straight back to bed and tried to chill out and then obviously straight up this morning. So uh, I haven't gone through all my bags yet. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping that, because it, it all turns into a blur when you finish the race, you kind of just, you know, and then I was rushed on the medal ceremony. So I may have just chucked it in one of my bags somewhere, which is what I'm hoping has happened. Um, it will, hopefully it will turn up. I spoke to my mum actually on the bus home. I told her that what had happened. She said, look, if it turns up, it's meant to be, you know, if it turns up, it turns up. If not, then someone else is meant to have it. And, you know, that luck's going to be passed on. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll wait and see, hopefully. Thank you very much. Of course. Holding it up or? Yeah. yeah. I, I, do you know what? It makes you feel like you need like a little baby with us. Like, <laughs> you? you know, that'd be a great little rattle for it, you know. Thank mm -hmm. you.